Hello and welcome to Stream It, your go-to podcast for all your film and TV goodness. And in this week's episode, well, it's a good one. We're hearing from the directors of the brand new movie, Lyle Lyle, Crocodile. It's been a while since you've seen something as great as Lyle. Go to the theater and... <laughs> Um, if you've got a friend, make sure to meet her. And the lovely Hugh is going to be telling us all about his favourite film. I think it's definitely something for everyone to watch, whatever your age. And as always, we are going to give you our top five recommendations and what you need to be watching this week. This is Fun Kids Stream It. Strap yourself in. Yes, hello, welcome and welcome to Stream It. This is the podcast where we chat to the biggest stars in the universe and search streaming platforms to find the best things for you to watch. Yeah, it's like the best job ever, isn't it? Because we go away, we watch all the stuff and then we give you the good stuff. Absolutely, we absolutely love doing that. And we only bring you the good stuff, don't we, Connor? We sure do. Like in today's episode, actually, we're hearing about a crocodile. Yes, a crocodile with a very special talent. But before we get into that, there is some big ginormous, huge film news. Do you know what it is, Connor? I do know what it is, but go on, you can tell them. Okay, okay. I shall reveal that at the New York Comic Con, the first teaser trailer for the brand new Super Mario Bros film was released. I am so buzzing about this. Well, do you know what, Connor? I thought we could actually share it with our listeners. What do you think? Yeah, should we play it now? Yeah, let's do it. Of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! So, Robin, what do you think of that? I'm not sure if I put you down as a Super Mario gaming fan. Has it ever been your bag? You know what, right? Controversial. I love the games, but I'm not huge on the films, if I'm honest. However, oh. I do realise just how big of a deal this is in the film world. So I do appreciate it. It is going to be amazing. And it's Jack Black and anything Jack Black does, we love, right? Yeah, well, there is that. There is that. I think that might that might sway me. And the trailer is good, to be fair. It's kind of got me excited for what might be happening with all them penguins. Oh, yeah. All those penguins. Okay, now is a great time to talk about today's interview with Will Speck and Josh Gordon, directors of Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Now, this is a movie all about a crocodile. 
guesses, named Lyle, who has an amazing singing voice. Yeah, and he's actually played by Shawn Mendes. Robin, do you think that there was ever a point in Shawn Mendes' career where he thought, one day I'm going to play a crocodile? Do you know what? I can't say it was at the top of his list, but it should have been because it's a brilliant film. <laughs> it is a brilliant film. And listen, I'm sure you know who Shawn Mendes is, but we play him all the time on the radio and we love him, don't we? Oh, we absolutely do. And in this film, there's actually like a talent contest, which actually kind of got me thinking to see if you have any hidden talents, Connor. Do you have any? Oh, well, I'm really, really good, like abnormally good at keepy ups with the football abnormally good what does that mean <laughs> well i do about 200 and i don't think the average person unless they're a professional footballer can do 200 really i mean is 200 good then i don't know well, how many do you do i don't know i never try maybe like three right well there we go if you're doing three <laughs> then 200 is very good well i'll tell you what while you practice your keepy ups maybe go and give yourself a moment let's get into the chat that we had with the directors of liar lyle crocodile will speck and josh gordon here we go what was that? That is an ambulance. What was that? That was a car tire. What was that? I have no idea what that was. New York City. Did we just move here? I think we did. You think Josh is going to be okay? This is my crocodile, Lyle. Please take good care of him. Well, hello, Will and Josh. First of all, I just want to say that the film is so fun and joyous. I absolutely loved it. And I imagine the filmmaking process was pretty similar. Is that right? Yeah, it was a blast to make the movie. Yeah. Um, it was super uh, infectious energy all around. When you're making musical, people just feel happy. So, Josh, seeing as the film is Lyle Lyle Crocodile, I was wondering if you could convince the people listening to watch the film, but using rhyme. Rhyme. God. Um, it's been a while since you've seen something as great as Lyle. Go to the theater and <laughs> um, if you've got a friend, make sure to meet her. And, meet it at her. Uh, book your tickets in advance because the movie will make you sing and dance. I was going to say pants, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now, of course, there's a talent show that features quite heavily in the film. So I've got a question for each of you. If you had to go on a talent show, what would your talent be? Mm. That's a good one. I think I can do, I think, um, I think I can hold my breath for a really long time. I'd say, I mean, at least, I mean, I do it in the pool and it's like three or four lengths. So I think on stage with a nervous competition, I could probably do it for four minutes. Four minutes? I think wow. I could. Um, the question was, what would you do to make yourself not nervous on stage? No, what would your talent be? Oh, what talent would my talent, talent be? I mean, um, not my voice. Um, my talent would probably be... Uh, my dancing. Mm. So Loretta the Cat is one of my favourite parts of the film. And with Lyle as well, how important is it for the animals to have such expressive faces, seeing as they don't actually talk? Um, it was really important. Uh, you know, we did a lot of work with our visual effects team to make sure that we ha found that balance between making them realistic animals, but that also felt that they had expressiveness and a place to go. Because if you think about a, a, a cat actually is a very expressive animal, but crocodile is much less so, um, and rattlesnakes especially. So I think we needed to take some license and liberty, but... Um, each each animal had its own challenges, and also when it worked, everybody would break out laughing, and you go, okay, that's perfect, that's the character. And the big question, of course, what was it like working with Sean Mendes? Now, I know he doesn't actually speak, but he does sing in the film. What was that like as director's? It's kind of incredible. I mean, we yeah. got yeah, we got to we got to really work with him a lot in the studio and record him while he performed and watch him as he interpreted these songs. I think the most incredible thing about him was, you know, he's obviously one of the best singers on the planet and this big 
kind of pop star, but he's actually a really good actor. And that was really what was incredible was watching him interpret the songs like an actor would and bring them to life. That, that was really special. He can't talk, but he can sing. At the top of the world tonight When no one ever has to hide Everybody get out of here! There's a crocodile in the house! Oh. There is pressure you can find this could not be happening. We have a crocodile living in our attic. That was totally awesome. The city must do something. Do you realize how different things have been since I met him? If we lost our mind to me to get away to changed everything for me. And not just for me, for you too. Stop it back! Woo! Oh, I've been shaking, I love it when you go crazy. You take all my inhibitions. Baby, there's nothing holding me back. Hide them. We have to show people that they don't have to be afraid. We got a crocodile on a motorcycle. Well, there you have it. That was our chat with, of course, the directors of Lyle Lyle Crocodile, and it's out in cinemas from the 14th of October. So, not long to wait, really. No, I must see. Okay, Connor, it's time for my favourite bit, which is, of course, the look forward, where we tell you our top five picks of what you need to be watching this week. Yeah, so we basically have gone away, we have taken a watch, we've taken a look, and we have found the absolute must-sees. And I think this week, Robin, we've got some good ones. Oh, we always have good ones, but I am really loving my picks this week, actually. The look forward. But I'd like to start with Lyle Lyle, Crocodile, please. That is in cinemas, okay? We just had a really cool chat about it. This is such a feel-good movie with awesome songs that are going to get stuck in your head. I can promise you that. When the Prim family moves to New York City, their young son Josh struggles to adapt to his new school and friends. All of that changes when he discovers Lyle is singing Crocodile living in his attic. Lyle Lyle Crocodile is in cinemas from the 14th of October, as we said. Now, my first pick this week is something called Itch, and it's on iPlayer. I am a little bit science-obsessed, if you know that about me. I love physics. This is right up my street. And I kind of got a question for you, actually. What would you do if you discovered a brand new element? I mean, I'd lose my mind, but that is exactly what happens in Itch. A science-obsessed boy discovers a powerful new radioactive element and is forced to go on a run to protect it from a sinister organisation who is seeking to weaponize it oh, could it all go so wrong but have a little watch on iPlayer right now well my next one is called Dog Gone at Trouble the privileged life of a pampered dog well, all dogs are pampered but this dog is named Trouble and he's turned upside down when he gets lost and must learn to survive in the big city streets on his own yeah catch that on Netflix right now Okay, my last pick for today is actually quite a classic, I guess, because it is Hey Arnold, but it's Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie. Now, this is actually out on Paramount Plus, and it's where Arnold and his class win a service trip to San Lorenzo, but when the trip takes a turn for the worst, their only hope of getting home may be, maybe retracing the dangerous path that led to Arnold's parents' disappearance. Yeah, it is very exciting and a little bit, I wouldn't like to say scary, but it's definitely adventure, that's for sure. So you can watch Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie on Paramount Plus right now. And to finish, my final one today, The Highway Rat. That is available for you on Amazon Prime. Now, this is a swashbuckling towel of bandits and biscuits. Now, if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. A ravenous rat travels along the highway, searching for sugary treats to steal. Obviously, he's a rat until his sweet tooth leads him to a sticky end. Need I say more? Check it out. That is on Amazon Prime right now. Well, there you have it. That was today's look forward. And now it's time for the kids review, which is, of course, your chance to be the star of the episode. 
Yeah, this is so exciting. Each week, we come over to you. We hear a review from you about a film you really love. It could be anything at all. It's super easy to get involved, actually. We'll tell you how after we hear from Hugh, who is reviewing his favourite film. Let's take a listen. One of my favourite films is an animation by Disney Pixar. I first watched it when I was really small. I think I was probably about four years old. I think it's definitely something for everyone to watch, whatever your age. I watched it again quite recently with my brother, and he's 17 and still loves it. I don't think he can ever get tired of it. If you haven't watched it, you should. The film is Cars. It has a really fun story with unforgettable characters. It's about a young race car called Lightning McQueen, who's on his way to a huge race in California but ends up in a small town called Radiator Springs where he learns the importance of friendship and that winning and racing isn't everything in life. (laughs) The music is brilliant too. What I really love about the movie are the voices and all the different personalities of the cars. There's lots of funny moments, but one of my personal favourites is the opening scene when Lightning McQueen is getting ready to race. The music starts... And the race begins. Oh, thank you so much for that, Hugh. I love Cars. Do you like the movie Cars? Do you know what? I love Cars. And I actually watched Cars in a really, really good way. I watched all of them for the first time when they were all out. So it was like back to back. Did you really have a little Cars um, marathon? Yeah, little Cars marathon. Exactly that. Loads of popcorn, which actually encourages me to say to you, if you're listening, if you haven't seen Cars, have a Cars marathon. Now, if you do watch Cars, just like Connor said, or maybe you want to watch one of our look forwards from this week, or perhaps you just got your favourite film, you want to tell us about it, you could actually get your review featured on an episode of Stream It. So just head on over to funkidslive.com forward slash stream it and hit that big red button to record your review. And that is all we've got time for this week. We have had a busy one, haven't we, Robin? We have had a busy one, but you know what? We love a busy film week, don't we? We do love a busy film week and we hope you loved it too. If you enjoyed the episode, then don't forget to subscribe, follow, rate us five stars, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next week. Bye.